In this video, we're going to do some work with graph transformations. Often students struggle with the concept of the f of ax. This is defined to be a 1 over a scale factor stretch in the x direction, or if you like, parallel to the x-axis. So 1 over a scale factor stretch, and this is going to be now in the x direction. So what does this actually mean? Well, let's take a function and see what happens to that function when we apply this transformation. So an example of this transformation might be the f of 3x or the f of 1 fifth x. I'm going to shortly graph y is equal to the f of x and we'll have our function of x to be a simple parabola. So let's say the f of x is equal to x squared. I'm just going to write this now as x in brackets and squared. I'm going to write the number 4. What I'm looking to do is now create the number such that when we evaluate this, we get 4. Quite clearly, the value I need for x in this particular case is going to be 2. So x would be equal to 2 in this case. What I'm now going to do is look at the f of 2x. So if I had 2x and I wanted to square that, what number would I have to put in for x to end up with 4? Well, the answer is 1. 2 times by 1, it's going to give me 2. 2 squared is going to give me 4. So this says that if I want now the number 4, I'm going to have to put the number 1 in. If I thought about now the f of 1 half x, this is going to give me now 1 half x, which we need to square. I go back to my question here. What number would I have to put in here to achieve 4? Well, the answer is going to be 4. 4 divided by 2 gives me 2. 2 squared is going to give me the 4. So x is going to be equal to 4. So if we want to achieve 4 from our function, we'd have to have now x is equal to 2, if we just have the f of x. We'd have to have 1 if we had 2x. And we'd have to have 4 if we had 1 half x. So we can see by doubling now instead of x to 2x, we would half the x coordinate. If I half now the function that we're evaluating here, or the argument we're evaluating, I'm going to have to double the value of x. So what does that look like graphically? What we've got here now is the f of x, which is x squared. We've got f of 2x, and we've got f of 1 half x. I wanted to achieve the number 4. So if I run a line just here, we can see now from there, and just put this into place, I can see what's going to happen. I've got this point right here. Now, this is f of 2x. We can see that the x coordinates have halved. With the f of 1 half x, they're going to double. So this is the f of x, and let's just drop a perpendicular down. We can see from that now, if I put that in, we'd need the number 2. If I was doing f of 2x, we would need half of that, so we would now have half the x coordinate. If we had f of 1 half x, we would need to double that. And graphically, we can see now that f of 2x is going to be closer to the y-axis, and f of 1 half x is going to be further away. So if you're ever struggling with these transformations, just think to yourself, what number would I need? So in this particular case, I wanted 4. What did I have to do? I let x be equal to 2. If I was going to have f of 2x, I would simply half the x coordinate required. If I had f of 1 half x, I would need to go ahead and double what I had. And that gives us those graph transformations. We could look at more. If I said to myself now, the f of 1 quarter x. So f of 1 quarter x. And I wanted now to put that in here. That would be 1 quarter x. And we'd need to square that. What number would I need for x? Well, the answer is going to be 8. 8 divided by two, uh, 4 is 2. 2 squared is going to give me now the 4. So x would be equal to 8. So by dividing this one by 4, I've ended up multiplying this by 4, which would give me another graph that was even further away from the y-axis. So that's some brief work now on looking at f of ax, which is a 1 over a scale factor stretch in the x direction. You're simply saying to yourselves now that you're dividing it by that amount. We're dividing this x coordinate by 2, 
we're dividing by one half, which is the same as multiplying by two, or we're dividing by one quarter, which is the same as multiplying by four.